Good morning, my name is Chelsea from Teaching in Pearls and welcome to a day in the life of a summer school teacher. mobile order for Chelsea. Happy Monday. So today is the last week of summer school. We only have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then we're done. It's June 30th. I am out of here till August 16th or something, and I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I am really going to miss the preschool though. They have been a blast to work with, but yeah, I'm ready for a vacation. I need one very desperately at this point and it's been fun, but I am ready to go. So today is going to be super fun because it's only a half day for me. I'm only here till 1230 and I am going to do tie dye with the preschoolers with the help of my paraprofessional of course could not do it by myself couldn't have done any of this by myself without her um but i pre-washed the shirts this weekend so they should be easier to dye oh my gosh i didn't even think about them wearing a tie-dye mask haha -ha. i didn't even plan that but that's perfect um and yeah we're gonna have breakfast and we're gonna do morning meeting and then we're gonna instead of going to my room and doing music and stuff today we're gonna tie-dye so should be super fun <laughs> hopefully it goes well um, um, I'll try to get as much footage as I can. All right, got the smocks and the permanent marker for writing their name in their shirt and on their bag. Here's the shirts and the three sizes I have. That 4T seems really tiny, but hopefully it fits a few of the kids. Otherwise, I do have enough for all of them to have one of these bigger ones, but hopefully one fits that. Rubber bands and the dies. My sinuses are horrible. That's why I didn't finish vlogging yesterday because I just felt like crap. I went to the store right after school to get sinus medicine. Oh my gosh, I'm just dying. It's because of the humidity, I think, because today we are 97% humidity. That feels like there's literally someone putting a wet blanket over your face as soon as you step outside and my body is not reacting well to the change. So hopefully this medicine helps. I did take my temperature and everything and I'm fine. It's just the sinuses, which is causing a headache because there's just so much pressure. Um, but, oh, geez. I need to, like, watch some TikTok videos of, like, ways to drain your sinuses or something because it is bad. <laughs> it is bad. But tie-dyeing went so well. And today we are going to go on a field trip to the laundry room <laughs> and wash and dry the shirts. <laughs> And then um, I'm gonna have to print off their names on my Cricut and we'll put those on tomorrow on the last day of school. It'll be super fun. But yeah, it went way better than I expected. We had like no messes. The kids were super careful. We were really intense about a couple rules. One was that they were not allowed to leave their seat if they wanted a different color or something. They just had to ask. They got pretty good at trading the colors, but also I'd bring them around colors the whole time and they were not allowed to get up because there's a chance that they could like pull the garbage bag and the dye would drip everywhere. Rule number two is they were not allowed to squeeze the bottle. If they would have squeezed the bottle, the dye would have went everywhere. And they did really good following those two rules. They were super patient. Um, they just did amazing. And so each kid ended up getting to do two shirts because our attendance was low yesterday. We were missing almost half of our kids. So we made all the shirts that we had, which was more than even the amount of students we have. We have 15 shirts and only 11 kids. And we made all of them, and we're gonna give the shirt, we're gonna make shirts for the kids who aren't here too, and they'll just get them, if they don't come back today or tomorrow, they'll just get them next year, um, when they come back for preschool, which is like in a month, <laughs> next year. 
<sighs> but I'm 15 minutes early. I'm not going in there right now. So I'm going to chill and be on my phone doing some coaching work while I wait till 7.30. That's when I will go in because that's when I have to be here. <laughs> Happy Wednesday, happy last day of summer school, last day of the 2021 school year. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it, I can't believe it. Oh my gosh, and I'm almost done. All I have is three clubs left. I'm taking off my sweatshirt so I can show you guys the shirts we made in preschool. So we tie-dyed these on Monday, as you know, and then yesterday we went on our laundry field trip and I cricketed the names. So yesterday, like, I did not have any time to check in because I even gave up my lunch to work on getting the name of our program in it um so i was working on it all well not all day literally just during their lunchtime so for an hour and then while i was teaching my first first grade class i was weeding the cricket stuff and then i just pressed them really quick while the kids were doing a kids bop dance and got them all done so they could wear them to school today but this is mine i didn't make it one of the students made it for me um i don't even know who made it but they did a good job and i think it looks so nice with the words my sinuses are still kind of um out of control but i feel like i'm feeling better so that's good because i really am gonna be bummed if the first couple days of my actual summer break i'm sick like lame so hopefully i continue feeling better throughout the day did i not pack medicine oh i meant to throw medicine oh i do i have more medicine Ooh, so i can take that right now but yeah i'm gonna put this back on because i'm cold but today was our last day so um we kind of just let the kids kind of just do whatever honestly in the morning they were playing with legos they were watching toy story in the background they were doing kids bop dances just a bunch of random stuff then i took four of them who are going to kindergarten next year on a kindergarten tour so we walked all around the building we were probably gone for like 30 minutes while the paraprofessional was with the other kids who are going to be in preschool again and we went and we looked in all the classrooms and we met the principal and it was just really fun for them something special and and then we played outside, came in, ate lunch, also had breakfast this morning, of course. And yeah, now they're napping. So it's time for me to eat my lunch. And then I will have three second grade classes today. Um, and I don't know what I'm gonna do with them yet, but I need to finish packing up my room. I'm gonna hopefully do that during a little bit of my lunch right now. Um, but if not, then I'm gonna do it while I'm teaching second grade because they won't care. And I do not wanna stay any later than four because I wanna get out of here. But I also didn't wanna pack up my room early so that I had all my materials till now. Um, so there was really no in-between option. So I'm going to eat and then start packing up and see what I can get done before it's time to teach second grade. I already started this morning. Well, no, I started packing up yesterday. Like most of it's packed. So got stuff stacked on tables. That room is completely full of stuff. This is what I need to do is wrap the shelves. And I started doing that this morning. Um, I obviously have like five more of them to do. <laughs> It'll end up being like six more rolls of paper or six more strips of paper. So that's all I really need to do. And then the rest of my room is fine because it's all off the floor and that's what really matters. But I just don't like all my stuff being like exposed like that so i'm wrapping it up and if i have to do it while i'm teaching then that's just gonna have to be what happens today because 4 p.m is already really late <laughs> really late and the kids will like helping me even if it's just hand me a piece of tape building that's fun so hope i can get done i need to stop talking to you guys so i can do it Not believe it. The school year is done. The craziest school year of my entire life. Virtual, hybrid, in person, hybrid, virtual, in person, summer school. We're done. We're done. We're done. And I got these done. 
during my first, like five minutes of my first class. So, <laughs> and the kids were excited to help me pick up the spots. We are good to go. That's a wrap on the craziest school year of my life. And I'm out of here. If you watch this whole vlog, I appreciate you. I'll be back with some school vlogs, Avi. So subscribe if you want to see those when they come out next year. Setting up my classroom and such. Even though, I don't know what I really need to do, but whatever. And give a thumbs up if it entertained you. And I'll probably do some travel vlogs this summer. Or maybe I won't. They might just be on TikTok. So here's my TikTok. And if I'm not making TikToks, I'm always on Instagram. But I'll be back with school vlogs in August. Which will only be a few weeks after you're probably seeing this one. Because I'm behind on editing. So, I'll see you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you're having a fabulous day wherever you are. Oh,